This lecture is about the walls of the heart and the walls of a blood vessel. I'm going to start with the walls of a blood vessel. Um, now this image is labeled as an artery, but it can be an artery or vein. So all blood vessels have three layers. First we have the innermost layer, which is called the intima. That is the innermost layer. Then the middle layer is relatively thick layer, and that is called the muscular media. And of course that's the muscle of the blood vessel. And then you have the outer layer of the blood vessel, and that is called the adventitia. Then of course you also have the lumen of a blood vessel. The lumen of a blood vessel is where blood flows through. So the intima, which is the innermost layer, will be in direct contact with the lumen. Okay, now I want to talk about the layers of a heart. But first of all, I want to talk about the fact that the heart is enclosed within a sac. And that sac is called the pericardium. The pericardium is a double-walled sac, meaning there's an outer layer and an inner layer. The outer layer is called the parietal layer. The inner layer of that sac is called the visceral layer. Now, the inner layer of the pericardium is also the epicardium, meaning, okay, the visceral layer of the pericardium and the epicardium, those are the same thing. The epicardium is the outermost layer of the heart wall. Epicardium, outermost layer. of the heart wall. Okay, they are the same thing. So between the outer layer and inner layer of the pericardium there is what's called the pericardial cavity and that's just a space where pericardial fluid is found. Okay, so here we have a diagram and I'm going to draw the sac around the heart. And so what I've just drawn um, signifies the um, outer layer of the pericardium, which is the parietal layer. Okay. Then you again you've got the inner layer of the pericardium, which is the visceral layer. Now, the outermost wall of the um, heart of the heart wall is the epicardium, which is the same thing as the visceral layer. Okay, those two are the same thing. Um, then you have the heart muscle, which is the middle layer of the heart wall and that is called the myocardium. And then you have the innermost layer of the heart wall. And the innermost layer is called the endocardium. So the best way to learn this is again to just take out a blank uh, diagram of a heart and to draw in these structures and um, to do it over and over again until you understand it. Um, so again there's the double walled sac that the heart is contained in. It has an outer layer and an inner layer and then the wall of the heart itself has three layers. It has an outer layer, the middle muscle, uh, muscle layer and then the inner layer.